Yeah, it was. Uh, they played Tampa. Thought I was going to have a shot to AJ, you know, sitting in the middle. He ended up beating the guy with speed, so the guy was a couple yards behind him. Didn't like the look of it. Uh, tried to come back to Ferk. 51 did a good job of, of widening back to him and uh, had to pull it back down as I was getting wrapped up and then just uh, twisted away, and got away from it. And I saw Nick waving his arms, doing the, uh, the Billy White shoes over there on the sideline. So I uh, was able to, to find him and get him the ball. What did God tell you about that? Uh, when you came back to the sideline or, or just about that, he Yeah, a lot of, you know, how the heck did you do that? Um, we just kept playing, you know. The guy, I felt the guy kind of wrap me up. Um, but I felt a little bit, of, a little bit of space, a little bit of air. It wasn't a, a strong hold, so just kept fighting and uh, twisted out of there and was able to make play. Nick came up with a couple of passing games. Sorry, uh, the, the inconsistency of the passing game had kind of been a discussion all year. You guys were on fire today. Um, just maybe, what were you guys seeing that was kind of enabled you guys to kind of get going? And what's it going to take to make sure that's a building block as you guys? Yeah, just keep working. Obviously, we did some good things. So I have a lot of things we need to clean up. Uh, but excited about the way our guys came and competed. Uh, it wasn't always pretty. You know, we got off to a hot start. Things got ugly there for a second. But we just kept fighting. And, uh, and guys made plays when we needed them. So proud of the way we kept fighting. Hopefully, we can build on the good things we did you know, in the next couple weeks as we move forward. Nick's been incredibly available to you throughout the course of the season. Obviously, he's made a great deal of progress. This is kind of the How much have you seen him kind of grow in the role that he yeah, it's been a lot of fun to watch Nick. I mean, I have so much respect for him and the way he works. We move him around everywhere. You know, he plays every wide receiver position consecutively, you know, within the drive. He'll play all three. And um, people don't realize, you know, what kind of mental gymnastics that puts you through on where you're at and what you're listening for and just the flexibility that gives us as an offense. So, um, you know, he's a kind of a utility guy for us. You know, he does a little bit of everything. He, he blocks his tail off. You know, any, any long run just about the UC, you see Nick down the field finishing and, and blocking. And then obviously, you know, he's made huge plays for us in the past game consistently throughout this year. So uh, I love playing with Nick and have a ton of respect for him. Yeah, we had him uh, in the back of the end zone there. They end up um, you know, basically clouding the boundary there. And uh, had to work to the backside progression on that, and it's all Julio in the back. He was in a good spot. I was able to kind of put it on him before the safety was, was playing back to him. He made uh, a strong catch through contact there, so it was a huge play when we needed it really badly. In general, How much does a play like that uh, do for that trust that, that you're working to continue to develop with? Oh, it's huge. You know, we're, we're steadily working at it, and uh, to make a huge play in a critical moment in a, in a situation where we really needed it, and... Um, to be able to, to make it through the contact, you know, it wasn't just a, a simple, easy catch. You know, he was in the perfect spot and, uh, and was able to make it through tough contact and reel it in. It was a huge play for us. And in general, when that game seemed like you started to slip away a little bit, it seemed like you kind of took it upon yourself to, to say, look, we're not going to let this opportunity get by us. Did you, did you have that kind of mentality in that second half of the plays that you made? Yeah, no doubt. You know, I, you know obviously, they came, came flying back with a head full of steam and, uh, we went through a little bit of a lull there and got to that that uh, last touchdown drive and told the guys, you know, we need to make a play and, and we need our best right now. So um, that was my mindset is we need our best football. I need to be able to uh, to be great right now in this critical moment. And, uh, you know, we were able to make those plays. Everybody's got a list of, you know, top 10, top five quarterbacks. Your name doesn't come up a whole lot. Is that something you even care about or is it more about, hey, I got the trust in my team and my teammates? Yeah, you're, you're constantly fighting for the respect of your teammates, which I believe I have, and, and your opponents. You know, um, at the end of the day, like I, I play to win game. So whether you know, it'd be nice to be, get recognized, but I'm not worried about it. You know, I'm worried about finding ways to win games, lead my team, be great in in, uh, in big moments and critical moments, and and uh, win football games. Yeah, this was all about, you know, we uh, we took care of business and, and put ourselves in a good position. But that's all it is, is a good position. We have to go out and play our best football um, here in the coming weeks. That's what it, the great teams do. That's what the team that, that ultimately wins the whole thing will do, is, is play their best football and uh, and win games in January and into February.
I'm proud of our guys. And yeah, it starts at the top with, with Coach Vrabel and the way he leads us. Um, we had so many guys step up throughout this year in critical moments in big games. Um, yeah, really too many guys to, to, to number. Some guys that aren't even here anymore, but they played played big for us in, in moments and, and helped us win games. So uh, we just kept fighting. This team is, is full of fighters. Adversity doesn't phase us. You know, you may go through a lull in a game or uh, in a quarter, but we're going to keep fighting. We're going to stick together. We're going to believe in each other and keep fighting that no matter you know, what's going on, as long as there's time on the clock and we're within striking distance, we're going to keep fighting and, and try to find a way to win the football game. Yeah, they've they've come up huge for us. Obviously, tough to see Michael go down last week, um, but that whole room has has been big for us as uh, the second half of the season has gone on. You know, we kind of found a groove. Ferk obviously played big for us today on third down. We were able to get him out into the uh, into the concepts a little bit, and and he got open and he made huge plays for us. Uh, Jeff has been consistent for us the whole year. You know, in the blocking game, um, taking advantage of his opportunities in the pass game when he gets them. But uh, he does such a good job for us as we move him around in all different positions and uh, gives us an advantage there on the edge. Yeah, you mentioned the first part was rest and recover. You know, get, get physically right. Uh, obviously, you know, we saw guys get banged up out there today. So the time to, uh, to get as close to 100% as you can possibly get at this point in the year uh, is going to be huge. Um, mentally, you know, just start prepping. You know, we'll see who... Uh, we're going to have opportunity to uh, to play in a couple weeks. Uh, start mentally prepping. You know, I'm sure we'll take a look at at both teams throughout this week. Uh, try to get get a, a jump start on it, and then uh, whoever it ends up being, you know, be ready with a great plan going into that second week. Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.